up? It's Donut Smile D, and today I am here with my dog, Mocha, and my dad, who is going to do a read aloud. Read aloud. I have a great book. Yes. Beauty and the Beaks. All right, let's get started. Let's get on over, because I don't want you to... Okay, dog has to get away. Beauty and the Beaks, a turkey's cautionary tale by Mary Jane and Herm Auk. Beauty and the Beaks. I want to read. Please. All right. <laughs> beauty owned a beauty shop, the Chick Hen, where she made other chickens look their best. Though beauty didn't encourage it, the shop was the center of gossip, with chicken beaks clicking all day. In her spare time, Beauty practiced her favorite egg exercise, flying. She was the only chicken on the farm who could soar over the fence. She didn't do it to run away. She flew for the pure joy of egg exploring. One day, a new bird arrived. There's a chicken who could use a little sprucing up chuckled Beauty. Then, oh, that hen needs egg-stensive work, squawked Beauty's assistant Gladys. Hush, said Beauty, you'll hurt her feelings. But it was too late. My name is Lance, said the bird. I'm not a hen, I'm a turkey. Lance strutted around the shop. I'm here for a special feast. We haven't heard about a feast, said Beauty. Lance shook his waddle. I guess you're not invited then. And swaggered, swaggered out. The door says exit, egg, sit. <laughs> Ooh. <clears throat> Some nerve, huffed Gladys. Don't let his words stick in your gizzard, said Beauty. Let's get to work. Hattie came in for a trim. Matilda needed to touch up her feather color. And Lucille? She wanted a set and a pedicure. They had all learned about the feast, but none of them were invited. Just then, Lance came back in. This feast is very exclusive. There's only one bird invited. Me! and he made another pretentious exit. I'm glad I'm not invited, if he's going to be there, said Matilda. He's a bit self-centered, Beauty agreed, as she gave Lucille a comb out. I'll find out about this feast, said Beauty. She flew to the farmhouse and peeked inside. The pantry shelves were filled with pies. Lance was right. There is a feast, but with all those pies, he can't be the only guest. Beauty's heart stopped when she saw the cookbook on the counter. Roast turkey with chestnut stuffing? Poor Lance! <laughs> Lance, cried Beauty. You're going to be stuffed with chestnuts at the feast. Chestnuts? Yum, said Lance. What else is on the menu? You, exclaimed Beauty. You are the feast. What'll I do? Lance wailed. Calm down, Beauty said. I'll teach you to fly over the fence. But in spite of his brawny drumsticks, Lance wasn't good at running and he couldn't flap his burly wings fast enough to get off the ground. We'll make a hen ladder for you, said Beauty. She convinced her friends to cooperate. Gladys stayed at the bottom to push. <laughs> Reach for me, Lance, called Beauty. Lance tried, but missed. Give him abuse, Gladys. He's not budging. <laughs> 
Gladys gave a mighty shove and the hen ladder collapsed. My life is about to expire, blubbered Lance. Don't chicken out now, said Beauty. We'll hide you. Are you yoking? squawked Gladys. He's too big to hide. But Beauty was hatching a plan. Lance, come with me. You too, Gladys. But they got to the chick hen. Beauty announced, Lance, we're giving you an extreme makeover. Making this turkey look pretty won't save him, said Gladys. No, we'll make him look like a hen. First, we need to improve his complexion. No healthy hen has blue skin with red bumps. They tried a mud pack with cucumber mask. Lance's face was still blue, red, and bumpy. They tried a wig. It wasn't enough. Try a hat, said Gladys. A really big one. That's good, said Beauty. With the right gown, he'll be stunning. You're not getting me into a skirt, said Lance. You want to wear a skirt? Or a roasting pan, Gladys said. Your choice. Lance gulped, but even dressed up, Lance was partly exposed. Your tail feathers have to be tweezed, Beauty said. They're a dead giveaway. Not my glorious tail feathers, whined Lance. Roast turkey with chestnut dressing, Gladys reminded him. Lance moaned. Start plucking. It took the whole day to complete Lance's makeover. Then Beauty stayed up all night trying to assure Lance that the disguise would save him, even though she wasn't at all convinced herself. The next day, the farmer and his wife came for the turkey. You let him escape, Sam. You've ruined Thanksgiving dinner. Sam spotted Lance. Let's roast that plump ham, Ethel. Lance trembled. Beauty held her breath. Thanksgiving without a turkey, Sam? No way. We're going to go out to a restaurant. So Sam and Ethel left. And Lance was safe. <laughs> Lance slowly adjusted to his new life. He enjoyed the scratching in the garden club in the weekly chickers tournament. Lance became Beauty's biggest customer with regular appointments for tail feather waxing. Beauty continued to give Lance lessons, trying to get his flying skills up to scratch. One day, while Beauty was giving Hattie a perm, she asked, Lance, would you like to go back to being a turkey? Yes, Lance admitted. But even if I get away, a skirt, blouse, and bonnet will always be my Thanksgiving dressing. Hmm? I hope you enjoyed tonight's read aloud, Beauty and the Beaks, a turkey's cautionary tale. I thought I'd enjoy that like a little bit less, but that was actually kind of okay. Really good. So anyway, kind of okay. I enjoyed it too. It made me really hungry. I'm about to go eat. Have a good night.